Hey guys, welcome to your workout today. Have I got a cool workout for you? There are a few things though that I need you to modify if you don't have the equipment. Some of you will have it, so that's why I've not left it out. We are going to use our dumbbell as a mace. So a mace is basically a baseball bat. So you know where the, they're in the pitch and they're, having the, the, they're doing the swing? That's how we're gonna use our uh, weight. So you're gonna get your dumbbell, you're gonna take the weights off one side. I would recommend if you've never done this before, maybe 50, maybe 10 pounds weight, that's it. Don't go any heavier than that. I've got 15. Um, I also put two clips on the end, just in case. Just in case, because you never know. You don't want it flying across the room and, and, and doing any damage. Now, if you've never done this before, you'll notice that this side of the weight has these ridges, depending on what your weight looks like. My hands pick up a lot of bars. They're very, very used to feeling. Um, this kind of vibe. If your hands are not used to this and they get sore quite quickly, you're gonna need a towel or something like that to put here, or your chalk, definitely your chalk. Minimum, you're gonna need your chalk because it will get very slippy very quickly. You're gonna hold it as you would a golf club if you've ever held a golf club before. So uh, that's how you're gonna hold it. So what you're gonna do is you have to kind of just go with this. You can't put it in and just be like trying to swing it a little bit. You have to just go for it, if, otherwise it will not work. You need to really give it a good bash. If you are not confident with this at all, you're gonna pick up a weight plate and you're gonna do the same move with the weight plate. That's all you're gonna do, or a weight. That's how you're gonna do it, okay? But if you have it, you're gonna pick up your mace and you're gonna swing to one side then the other. So you're gonna come all the way around into the middle. Now, I like to move my grip from time to time. It's entirely up to you how you want to do that. That's 15 pounds, that's serious. That's like a full weight to be shifting around your body. I would start with 10 if it's your first time, or maybe even five, just get used to the vibe of something going around your body. There is another move that we're doing today, which if you don't have a lighter slam ball, you are gonna use just your weight and you are just gonna go through the motions with a weight. So you will hold the weight like this, you will come down, and you will hold, and but you will stop in the work position, okay? So you'll come down to here and spin it round. As if, you would you have seen it on the Instagram, people hold like a, a cable or resistance band and they come from here and then they do the twist. That's what you're gonna do, but you're gonna have a weight plate. So you're gonna come all the way down and you're gonna spin it through. If you have a slum ball or you have something that you can use, say you're in your garage or something, you are gonna use your slum ball and you're going to throw it against the wall. That's 10 kilos. If you're thinking of investing in a slam ball, 10 kilos is normally my throw, which is that one, and the 20 kilos is my slam. Don't buy a slam ball less than 10. It's a waste of money. You get very, very strong with slam balls very, very quickly. So if you are thinking, oh, that's heavy, don't worry, it will get, become very easy very quick. If you want to know how to make a throw ball, if you want to do throws instead of those, those wall throws, get your throws and you can do throws in the air. There is a video on the website in the gear section how to turn your weighted vest and a plate into a, into a throw ball. That's it. That's all you need to know. You need something to step up on if you have it. If you don't, you're going to do squats. There is an alternative option for pull-ups. If you want to do pull-ups with me on your rack, you absolutely can. Um, slams I've gone over. You're going to need two heavies and everything else that's below this video. You don't have to wait your step ups, but I would definitely recommend it if you are an advanced um, athlete. Uh, and you're gonna need something that you can do your cardio on, which is skipping for me today. I was gonna do it on the bike, but I've not done skipping for so long that I thought I would mix it up today. So I am ready to rock and roll. I hope you're ready as well. There are gonna be two minute rounds, two moves, and we're gonna do those back to back, and that's how it's gonna work. Got it? Good. Enjoy your training. It's Friday for me, so this is the end of a full week. So I'm gonna be dying. So if you're fresh and this is your Monday workout, believe me when I tell you, you should be going faster than me. Because I've done a full week and all of your last week's workouts, and this is Friday, so this is like extra. So please, if you are fresh, and this, because this should be your new week, if you're fresh, can you go heavy? Really push yourself. If you can go faster than me with good form, please do. Don't worry about how fast I'm going. It's, I'll be going as fast as my little body can take me, so don't you worry about that. So let's start with our warm up. Hi. 
We are going to have some fun times today. It's going to be a very fun workout, full of all the things. I'm going to push you back so you can see. Hi, everybody on the live. Okay, so let's start with our warm up. I've given you 15 seconds rest. You're welcome. That's a proper treat. I know. Two minutes work. What are you going to do for your cardio? Are you going to get on the bike? Are you going to skip like me? Uh, my laces are go. My laces are double knotted, and if I don't do it now, you know what's going to happen. They're only going to come off. So go, go, go. That's it. There we go. Ah. So it should be a good week for you. You should be feeling fresh. So let's start. Let's get our head in the game. Let's really think about what we're doing. So there are alternatives that you are going to need to take today. I will put them in the breakdown so they are there for you so you know what to do. If you train with me a lot, you'll know what to do anyway. you in your anaerobic zone to get you fit 
to learn how to recover well. Recovery is one of the hardest parts. It was something that I had to learn. If you want to improve on your recovery, if you're a runner, if you put some music on or you sing as you work out, you'll be able to control your diaphragm, you'll be able to control your breath. Which is why I get a lot of messages saying, how can you talk and work out at the same time? Because it's years of being able to control my in and out, which means when I, I stop, I can control my breath and my recovery really well. It's just like anything. The more you practice it, the better you get at it. So as you might get to that point where you can't hold your breath and you can't get your breath, I've learned over time how to control that. So if you sing, or put some music on, or talk, or do whatever while you're training, over time you become better at it. 45, last one. 35, We start with five heavy squats into eight wall balls, throws. If you don't have a throw, you grab your weight, you come from the floor, you come up, you touch, you go back down to the floor, you come up, you touch with your medium weights. I want this to be heavy, so grab your 20s. If you want to make a ball, I'll show you how to do that on the website. Just go to the gear section. Are you ready? You've got two minute rounds, five and eight, five and eight. Got it? Good. Okay, 15 seconds. Get ready. Dun, 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 dun. Take your first couple nice and easy. Four, three, two, Last one, let's go. Stop at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. Lock those lats in into your throws. Eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Five, let's go. Five, four, lock it in. Three, two, one, good. Down you go, throw it. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one. Woo! This is some realness right here. Five squats. Three, two, one. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Drop it down. Throw it. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 14 seconds. Five squats. Let's go. Five, four, three, Two, have a rest, you've got 15 seconds. 
How did that feel? I'm sweating already. I'm not even kidding. I am sweating already. I'm absolutely sweating already. And that's good. Okay, so. Your first work, that's your first vibe of how this workout is gonna go. So let's do it again. This time though, you have one weight. You're gonna come up, squat it down. Up, squat it down. Eight of those, eight ball throws. Are you ready? If you want to use both weights like I will be doing, then please do, because why not? Go hard or go home, right? So that's 40K for those of you that don't know, if you're trying to keep up with me. Goblets. Let's go, goblet. Eight. Drop it down. Seven. Six. Five. Lock it in, four. Weight in the heels. Three, lift your toes. Two. One more. One. Good. Ball throws for eight. Let's go. Eight. Seven. Six. Get it higher. Come on, push it. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more. 120 to go. Ha. Let's go. Eight. Lift it. Eight. Seven. Lock it in. Six. Five. Four. Three. Oh. Good. Really good. Stay focused. Come on. Two more for me. Two. Lock it in. One more for me. Go. Up. Yes. Eight throws or touches, depending on which one you pick in. You've got 35 seconds. Make every second count. Let's go. Eight. Throw it higher. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more, one, good. You got 17 seconds. If you only get two in, get two in. Let's go. Up, oh. one. Up, oh. two. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Grab a drink. Good. Should be feeling a bit warmer now. My nose keeps running, I don't know why. It's not even warm outside. Okay, uh, next one. Uh, next one. You have a choice of how you want to do this. If you don't want to do the monkey push up, just stay in the push up. So go from maybe a wide push-up to a narrow push-up, a wide push-up to a narrow push-up. There's going to be one push-up, one monkey push-up. But first of all, there's going to be 10 swings into five push-up, monkey push-ups. Got it? Good. Let's go. 10 swings. Good. Good. Three, two, one. Let's go. 10. I've got to go higher. Nine, because 20, eight is becoming too easy for me. Seven, six, five, four. So if you're quicker than me, three, don't worry. Two, one, get it down. Five push up, five monkey push ups. Let's go. Push up, come in, over the shoulders. One, two, Three. They should feel comfortable. Four. With everything we do, they should not feel horrendous. The head is the last thing to come up so you don't get dizzy. Compose yourself. Start again. Let's go. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Good. Five. 
four, three, good, two, good, one, push up, monkey push up. These should feel quite comfortable. Grab your breath, let's go, push up, come up, over the shoulders, monkey push up, good. Make sure you are going between those fingers. Three. Four. Five. Head is the last thing to come up. Compose yourself. You've got ten seconds. Even if you get two swings, get them in. Good. Rest it. Really good. So that's warmed you back up, ready for pull-ups. If you're not doing pull-ups, if you're not doing pull-ups, you're doing bent over row. Okay? If you're doing pull-ups with me, you've got five push pull as we normally do. If you're doing bent over row, you might get eight rows. So think about mixing that up if you wish. Oh. Are you ready? So five push pull as we normally do. Let's <sighs> start warming up those legs for those box jumps. Into five box jumps. No, ten box jumps. Five box jumps. Ten box jumps. We never do five. So um, if you haven't got a box, you're going to do squats. I'm just going to move this out of the way because I'm right in the middle of that uh, thing. Okay, you ready? So. 10 box jumps, 5 push pull, your, or 8 bent over row. Pick your option. Let's do it. We just warmed up the back, so you should be ready for this. Make sure you stand up straight on that box. Do not cheat. I don't want to see any cheating going on. Let's go. 10. 9. 8. 7. Six, five, four, good, come on, three, two, one, five, push, pull, or eight, bend over, row, let's go, push up, get in if you want to add a tuck, do it, one, How you feeling? You good? You should feel good. Okay. So you're gonna need your box or your board. This is something we've never done before. So please watch what we're gonna do. We're gonna push up, come in. You're gonna jump on the board. Then you're gonna step off and jump again with a push up. Now, we've never done this before, so I need you to take your time. If it's not comfortable for you, just 
stay with the push on the board. Okay, but everyone else, let me show you very quickly. Push up, come in, watch, jump on, step off, jump, push up. Add a tuck if you wish. Now, I'm very aware that you can't see me through this whole thing because I need more space for you. But hopefully, if I bring us here and I stay on this side, it'll be okay and you'll see what we're doing. So, you come off, jump, push, push up. Got it? You've got two minutes. I would like you to turn around and come the other way, but I can't do that because you won't be able to see me. So I'm going to run back round and I'm going to start again on this side. So I'm just going to stay. Make sure that when you come off, each time you come off with a different leg. Got it? Please be careful. It's very new. I'm trying to work you up to uh, plyo box jumps. <sighs> 10 seconds. I'm hoping that you can see me really well. You got it? Let's go. So, push up, jump on, hold it, jump down, jump, tuck, turn it around. I've got to run back round and do it again this side because I don't have any room to do it. Step off. Good. Run back round. Do it again. heart in my head. That is what I'm talking about. That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay. Get your slam ball. It should be light because we're throwing it. Okay, so next round you've got five throws. Throw it down to the floor. Jump, 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 run back. Okay, that's your next round. Five throws, reset, jump, jump, jump. Uh, tuck jump optional. Step down optional, box optional. Take your variations, take your modifications, you know what they are now. Are you ready? <sighs> yes, let's do it. Five throws. If you want to add that tuck and that push, you absolutely can. Four, three, two, let's go. Throw, five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down, jump on, hold it, jump off, jump. Push up, tuck, run back, do it again. Five throws, 
this. Oh my God. It's so much fun. Let's go. Oh, I forgot to throw. Five toes. Five. Four. They're getting real. Three. Two. One more. Watch yourself if your legs are tired. I don't want any accidents. Go. Hold it. Get ready. Land softly. So there's nothing you can't handle. It's only the same as when we do squats with the switch lunge. Throws. 34 seconds. Let's go. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Drop it. Go. Let's do it. Make it count. Last one. Yes. Well done. Okay, your next round. We're going to start with that ball throw against the wall. I'm going to show you your alternative if you don't have a ball. Even if you're mixing it for a plate, 
this whole routine with the plyo and the strength and the movement. Oh, it's like functional training at its best. It's so nice to move this way. You ready for the other side? Yeah? So, you throw in the ball against the other wall this time. Now one side is going to feel way better than the other. Remember that. Okay. Just hoping you can see me. I'm sure you can. You know what I'm doing now anyway. Get your breath. We're 28 minutes in, including your warm-up. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm just going to stop the live. Live, I'll bring you back in a minute when I'm doing my base. Ready? Okay. Don't even know why I bother with makeup on because it's useless. It's just useless. My juice is here. Okay, so fast throws. And then into those box jumps. To check the winter. And then we'll check the saturation. It's so much fun. I don't know if you're watching the live and it's fun time. Yeah. Right, so you can't see my switch on, but don't worry, you know what I'm doing. I'm just struggling between being seen and knowing what I'm doing, but you know what I'm doing because I'm doing it this side. So let's go 15 seconds, five throws, six switch lunges onto the box. Seven, four, three, two, one. Let's go from the knee, throw, five, knee. So, 146. I'm in the orange and I feel like I am as well. Just get a breath. That plyo into strength, into throw, into jumps. It's a lot, especially two times through. Okay, so, that weight that you just used to push against the wall like this, you're gonna use that same weight right now if you don't have a mace. You're gonna come round. And you're going to do the same move that I just showed you. So the move that I just showed you from here to here, you're going to bring that move, you're going to do the same thing, but instead of just coming from here, you're going to go around the body and you're going to twist through. Now when you twist through, I need you to twist and then almost like somebody's stopping you here. Don't come all the way around, stop at the wall, come back round, all the way round, 
top of the wall. I want you to come round and really smash it as if you're trying to smash something into a wall, okay? Like this, got it? Good, everybody else grab your mace. Remember what I told you, if you're new to this, grab something just to put round the bottom of it. My nose is running so bad, I don't know why. It's yours, Trees? Yeah, I'm just freezing that side. I know, but... So, we're gonna come all the way around to the side, come all the way around to the side, one minute, and then we're gonna take it down to the bottom for the, ne for the next minute after that, okay? Brilliant. Remember, take your time. If it's too heavy for you with 15, like me, take it down. If you're struggling to hold it, pick up a weight. I've just given you a practice with the ball throw, so you're used to that move now. So let's go. The trick is not to hold the mace too tightly. And to move your body with it. Go to the side. Did you set the line? Take a rest if you need one. I think I'm going to take five kilos, five pounds off this, just so I can get a better through. That's better. All the way round. So you come into the middle. All the way round. All the way round. Don't be stiff with the body. When you're in the middle, your arms are the only thing that's moving. Good. Now let's take it low. Floor. Round. To the floor. As if you're chopping down a tree. Floor. Let's go. Down. Down again. If you're using a weight, just pick up the plate. Down to the floor. Make sure you turn through that heel. All the way round. All the way round. Let's go. 20 seconds. It should feel intense. Oh, let's go. Two minutes is no joke. Four, three, two, last one. Okay, this time, wood chop with, with your mace. I don't need you that far away anymore. Yo. No, it's for when I was long like this. So this time wood chops with, with your mace or your plate. So come down, pick it up. So, you're going to take it all the way over. So it's gonna feel very different. Good. Minutes. I'm holding my weight on the actual handle, not at the end. At the end, it's too much length for me. It's making my le leverage too long. So if it's, that's happening for you, hold it in the middle. Or one in the middle and one at the end. Just to give you some support. I'll tell you what, I've got a new farm respect for people who chop down trees. This is no joke. Functional training. 
how many times you have to dig a hole in your garden. Pick something up. Three, two, one. Grab your ball if you don't have one. You can just stand up and do it with your plate. We've done it before with our plate. That's what you're going to go to, you'll go to. So, if you've got your plate, hold it. If you don't, come around, and then you're going to come from here and hit the ball. Now, if that's too hard for you, please sit here and hold it here. Now, I don't want you to slam that ball too hard. I just want you to go through the motions of hitting it. Turn your grip every time. Turn your grip every time. Before you do it again. Good. Don't sit down on your legs, move your body. So you've got some movement. Let's go. Good. If you don't have this ball, which I don't even know if you can see me, which I'm pretty sure you can. Hi. If you don't have this ball, and you don't have anything that you can hit, you're just gonna hold your plate like this and you're gonna come around and do it that way, just like that. That's all you're gonna do like we normally do. But if you can, try to come all the way around as if you're trying to chop a tree. Abs in to protect your back. Let's go. some realness right there. Oh. Okay, again, this next one, if you don't have your ball that you're throwing against the wall, you do exactly what we did at the beginning. You pick up your medium, you tap, you lift, you pop it down, okay? Everyone else, you're gonna throw the ball against the wall, push up. Throw the ball against the wall, push up. If you want to add the tuck, you absolutely can. I am going to do a push up with a monkey push up so I can get some back in. If you want to join me, you absolutely can, okay? So. Hmm. You've got two, a couple more rounds and you're done. Okay. So, this is how it's going to look. You're going to grab your ball, you're going to throw it. You're going to come down, push up, come in, monkey push up. That's my arse you're looking at, I get that. There's not a lot I can do about that, you're just going to have to just deal with that because the, the wall's that way and you're this way. So close your eyes, don't look at that, okay? Just do you for the next two minutes, don't look at the screen. Shh, don't do, no looking, okay? I'll turn sideways, I think that's a better idea. As much as I would like you to like, have a lovely view, I don't think that's quite a necessary view. So, throw it against the wall, push up, monkey push up. I'm going to go um, sideways on so I'll be a little bit slower than you, okay? Let's go, throw it. Two times through, push up. And tuck if you wish. Why not? Throw it. Go. You never know when you might need to throw something at someone. And the zombies are coming for you.
Keep going. Throw it. Load your chest and back today. I don't want to worry you, worry you, but we've still got 48 seconds to go. And I'm dying. Mm. Let's go. Yeah, have it. Have it! Come on! Don't let it beat you. I know it's been a lot of function today, but do not let this beat you. Come on. We've got seven seconds at least get you throwing. Okay, this next one I've wanted to do, honestly, for like six months. First time I saw it, I've not been able to work you guys up to it in a workout yet, but this workout was perfect. So, Oh, I can't wait to do this. Okay, so. You're gonna lie down on the floor in a stop. So you're gonna lie down on the floor like this. You're gonna do two floor push-ups. So one, come down with your hands. Two, come down, hold it. When I say go, you're gonna come up, go, and you're gonna run to the other side of your living room. I'm back. Got it? But you are going to have to get up and go. Sprint, then sprint back. Now, if you don't have the other side of your living room where you don't have a lot of space, you're going to come up, then you're going to jump, and then run back. Okay? That's your alternative. But if you can, I would like you to get up and sprint. To eat, just even to the other side of your living room and back. Okay? Ready? If you have a garden, this is brilliant to try in your garden. So, advanced people, there's an alternative that you can do. When I say go and come off the floor, you come up, you switch lunge, and then you go. Okay? You want to add that in? You can't, I can't, I'm so excited to do this. Let's go. It's my favourite. It's my favourite. So, on the floor. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two. Two floor push-ups. One, lift it. Two, to the floor, hold it. Go! Run back. Get back down. Floor, go. One, hold it. Two, hold the floor. Go! Run back. Get down. Floor. Two floor push up. One, up, two, hold it on the floor. Up! Do it again. I need explosive power on the floor. Down. Explosive. Hold it. Down. Up! Good. Do it again. That fast twitch fiber, that's what we're talking about. Get down, minute to go. Up, down, up, down. Hold it, up. Good, run it back. Grab your breath on the floor. Four seconds. Hold it. Hold it. Up. 
That was fun, right? Grab your breath. God, that was fun. I'm in the orange, so I'm just going to give you a minute. I've got one finish and we're done. Abs. Two minutes. Done. Peace out. I'm just gonna need your ball. Hi. God, that was fun, Trees. That was so much fun. Yeah, I can start today. So, uh, uh, using your ball, you're gonna do over your head. So you're gonna come over your head, then you're gonna lift it up, sit up, slam it, pick it back up. If you don't have, a ball, just touch the floor with your weight. So just like we do when we do um, mm, butterflies. Got it? We are going to go to the middle, to either side. So listen for the cues. 30 seconds of each. Five, four, three, two. Last two minutes, let's go. Touch it, sit up with it over your head, slam it. One. 30 seconds, lift up, good, this is 10k, so it's serious, good, 13 seconds, good, good, change it, left side, up, Pick it up, make sure you come to the middle before you go back down. Up. Come to the middle, then go back down. Up. Come to the middle, go back down. I don't want you twisting through your back. Sit up. Change sides. Sit up. Distribution of weight today. Working through different distributions, not using the, the normal methods of holding weight. Because we're holding the ball, it's a lot harder to control the weight. Eight more seconds on this one. Back to the middle. Let's go. God, it's so hard now. It's my shoulders more than anything. Go. Ten. One more. Come on, and we're done. Two. Last one. Done. Have a rest. Get a cat cow if you need one. That is a lot of everything today. Quite a bit of chest and back, which is what I initially wanted. But quite a bit of hmm. just work through some movement today, which is my favourite. This style of training, although it won't, it, it will help with your muscle fibres, etc. It will just get you stronger and fitter. And that's why I love doing it. And I had a great time. I'll see you next time. Bye.